Hey, what's up, guys? Have you ever wanted something that stands alone? Something that no one else has? Well, here's a side of beautiful rings. I wanted to give you exactly what you wanted. So here's a flat twist, outstanding, one-of-a-kind, protective style. If you want to see how I got this style, then don't go anywhere. Stay put and enjoy. Now I'm beginning the style with stretch hair, which that video will be out real soon. I'm starting to part on my left side right next to my ear. This part will have a curve to it and it's going to end up right in the back on the side, not in the middle. Working on my first section, this section is going to have four flat twists, so I'm creating three parts, and all of these parts are going to be curved as well. So once I got to the middle, I decided to do the same type of parts but going the opposite way. This first part made a point at the bottom and that created a little spark to the style. That's why I always go with spiral parts or curved parts because sometimes it just adds a little extra to the style that I didn't even think of. And now I'm left with one section, which is the front and the side part of my head. These parts are similar to the parts in the first section. They're curved the same way, going the same direction. So after all that, I have 16 sections. 7 in the front and 9 in the back. So the products I'm using for this style is my grapeseed oil. I'm using some of the dark and lovely natural butter and gel and some water. I used this dark and lovely gel and butter product one other time before this time. Um, I like to have some type of spritz or gel with my protective style. It not only holds the style um, in place, but it does help the style last a little longer. So with the combination of the butter and gel, I figure why not? This is the perfect combination for this style. I always use a butter and gel. And I really did like it. Um, it did make my hair just a little um, wavy. But other than that, it did do the job and I did have a shine. So overall, the product was good. In addition to that, this section and the front section, the flat twists are going to be going towards my left, and the middle section flat twists are going to be going downward. And if you have the type of hair that is always in need for more moisture, Applying more product and more water to your hair as you flat twist might help you out. That's what I always do with every flat twist style, every protective style. Um, I always apply more product as I go. And that helps me through the week. I do not reapply more product to my hair. 
it's no need for that so if you do have that type of hair try it out see how it works and you might like it Showing you the last flat twist on camera. It is about that time. It is bedtime. So here's how all of the flat twists came out. After getting all of the energy that I need, it was time to start the day. So I got straight into action. Work my way from top to bottom. I grabbed two flat twists and I bend them into a circle which I call a ring and then I pin them in place using about two to three bobby pins for each ring and after that I only grab one flat twist at a time for each ring I knew I wanted rings for this style but I didn't know where they was going to go so I placed them on top of each other next to each other underneath each other I just went with the flow for some styles, I do create as I go, and it works for me. I don't know if it will work for someone else, but it does work for me, and I like the way it came out. I like how it fell on the side of my face. So yeah, I just went with the flow with this one. Didn't really know where they was going to go, and it came out looking amazing. Let me know if you have went with the flow or if you have created as you go. And while you're at it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video. Share it with your family and friends. And if you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I always upload every Wednesday. So I will see you guys next Wednesday. Until then, goodbye.